Very good evening from the sports desk. Uh, German football club Armenia Bielefeld conducted a workshop for aspirant coaches uh, in Standerton and uh, today in Midrand. The Blauen under-17 coach Tom Schwartz was there to impart knowledge to up to uh, up-and-coming coaches and players. He joins us in studio together with former Bafana Bafana and Armenia Bielefeld player Delron Buckley to tell us more about the workshop. Guten Abend. Gentlemen, did I say that right? Oh, you hit the nail on the head. <laughs> thank you so much. <laughs> Coach, thank you so much for coming through. Yeah, nice to be here and thank you for inviting us to, to the show. Darren, good to see you. Yeah, it's good to see you. Right. Coach, let me start with you. I mean, just tell us a little bit about your visit here in South Africa. You were in Standard 10 yesterday. Um, you also were in Waterfall today. What is the purpose of your visit? Yeah, we started uh, this project in 2020 um, with Armenia coming in South Africa and we have people with Darren in uh, our past is a very uh, good player in, in the past for Armenia Bielefeld and so we take the next steps in South Africa and uh, so we, uh, yeah, we train a lot of uh, kids and uh, uh, also we uh, have some uh, coaching clinics uh, where we um, bring the coaches to the next level to uh, prefer the development for the, for the kids. Yeah. Daron, how important are these sort of workshops, especially for somebody like you who knows the system in South Africa and have had an opportunity also to play abroad? It's very important because our development in South Africa is not up to standard. And I can guarantee you that because I see it uh, week in, week out because I'm one of the coaches at the UK Zedan University. And also I coach a lot of young kids in Durban and I see it permanently that these kids you know, there's a big gap in between if you compare a young development child, kid, from South Africa to Germany, it's chalk and cheese. And this is why, uh, which I say I'm privileged to be ambassador for Amina Bielefeld, is to close these gaps. And this is why Amina Bielefeld is coming to South Africa, you know, to share their knowledge, to help coaches, coach them, to understand the game properly, and especially also the kids, how to train them to close this gap because the development... It's, it's, it's a big factor, it's a big fundamental in this country which we have to close because it just uh, boils down, you know, we don't have uh, players back in my days, you know, like going, to, going to Europe now, you don't have that. And this mm. is the problem which we, which we, which we are facing. Coach, t tell me about maybe like one would say the key to the success that you've had. I mean, you the head coach of the under-17. What would you say has been key, especially because you're talking about uh, still younger players who are below the ages of 17? Well, I think the important thing is uh, to train harder than the other players. <laughs> yeah. uh, of course, you have a, a talent in football, but yeah. I think the, the attitude to your to football is very important. Uh, also, you, have a, a, you need a bit lucky the, on the right time, on the, on the right place, mm -hmm. and you have, a, uh, you have uh, the right trainer, I think, in, to the right time. But uh, yeah, you, you need a, a talent, or also the, the, the right and the, the best uh, attitude to get better and uh, develop by yourself. And, and from what you've seen so far in South Africa, I mean, do, you, do you feel that, uh, as Darren says, that there's talent, but we just don't have that much development? Do you see possibility of unearthing more Darren Barclays? <laughs> yeah, it's not uh, uh, the way for, for my club to yeah. uh, find the next uh, Darren <laughs> Buckley. <yeah? laughs> when, when we find the next Darren Buckley, it's, uh, it's very bit difficult. Yeah. It was really good. <laughs> <laughs> Nein, um, no, it's uh, uh, the way from Aminia Bielefeld is to do building br bridges and to share knowledge with uh, the kids and the coaches here um, in, in, in the future. Yeah, of course, when we find. A small Darren Buckley, it's okay, <laughs> but not the, not the reason where we're here in, the, in, in this country. And, and talk to me about those development pathways. I mean, what is different that uh, I would say you impart on the coaches and the players in, in, in your workshops? Yeah, we um, give the coaches um, easy exercises. We can, they can train with, with the kids, yeah? Um, uh, difficult exercises and to, to share the training to the to the big field. Uh, I think we have to compare the exercises to the yeah for the for the really for the big match. Mm -hmm. And uh, though we prefer the the players better for the for the next level. Darren, what, what has been I mean from your perspective the the difference in what you're seeing? I mean, uh, and the turnout also. Do you find that uh, the people that come through that are either coaches or players? 
um, are, are open-minded and, and get the necessary knowledge that could help in their development? It depends where uh, we're holding these, these camps, you know, these clinics, because uh, yesterday we went to Stanton. We, we went up, well, actually, I noticed that the coaches that came there are mostly dads, you know, that they yeah. coach his kids, but they don't understand the modern football of today, how to coach. Mm -hmm. This is why we have uh, Tom coming in, me, you know, teaching him the basics to understand that when, when, you, when you're doing these training sessions with the kids, this is how you need to do it. This is how you need to focus on. You know, this is how you need to produce the player to do it in a better way that the player understands the game in a proper way. And, and, and Coach, tell me about just the coaching techniques and, and how different are they? Uh, you know, as Darren says, that you find that uh, amateur coaches, you know, it's just like me coaching my children, you know. But what are, <laughs> what are, what are the different coaching techniques that you're imparting on, on the aspirant coaches? Yeah, Darren said... Uh, um, in the coaching clinic to today, yeah, you uh, you bring you up in the uh, yeah in the same level to the, to the players. You, you have a, a lot of uh, communication with them. Yeah, uh, in the in the younger age, um, uh, the players have a lot of uh, traffic behind the football. Yeah, they leave the, the houses in the morning at six o'clock. They go to school, and after the school they uh, go to the training, and uh, they are at home at. Uh, yeah, 10 o'clock or 11 o'clock and the next day they start in the, with, with school and uh, yeah a lot of communication and uh, yeah in the training yeah this was Darren say in, in some situation when I was a, a former player the players understand me when I discuss in some situation okay. and believe me earlier than another coach well, what would you say is key to development of players and especially when you're talking at, at, at a young level? Yeah, what I say, I think the, the attitude to, to do more than the other players. Mm. Yeah. When, you, when I look in my uh, team this year, and um, well, every training, uh, the players called me, hey Tom, can we uh, go one hour early on the pitch and we have to train more? And I think that's the right way to get a better player. Are, are we doing the right things, Delron? And, and do projects like this actually help in, in just planting those little seeds in terms of development? Because, I mean, we know our under-17 uh, who are currently in AFCON, they are playing Senegal tomorrow, a big game. And, you know, they've been mm. struggling in those matches that they've been playing. Well, I've said, you know, that uh, it's the first time that you get a professional club from Germany, from Europe coming, to have all these pod projects, you know just to cut that space in between development. And, uh, of course, you know, the question that you ask is what can benefit from these kids, you know, is for them to, for, you know, for us to open up their eyes, you know, to understand, you know, this is the way you need to play, especially the coaches, because as I said to you, the coaches that, that come there, of course, you probably have a qualified coach, but he doesn't understand the modern football of developing young, talented players. And this is the biggest problem we have in South Africa. You know, week in, week out, you'll probably have a coach that coaches a kid in a, in, in a way he thinks is right, but it's not. Because when that kid comes to professional level, you know, that kid can't even pass a, di a diagonal ball, can't even uh, control the ball properly. And then us so professional coaches yeah. have that problem now, we've got to teach them. But then it's too late because when he gets to the professional level, we can't give him time. Because our, our so jobs are on stage. It's already too late. It's you already need too results. late. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Coach, just quickly as we are we, we, out of time, but um, you know, you say this project has been running and you've been to Standard 10 and uh, Waterfall. Will you be doing more uh, of this sort of uh, uh, visits? Uh, yeah, yes, of course. We uh, come back in four weeks, uh, also with the CEO of the club, and we do a lot of ac uh, activation in the, in the next uh, weeks and months. And um, yeah, also the. Um, the plan is uh, not for four weeks, and then for a, a long time uh, we come to South Africa. Well, I guess I will see you guys in four weeks. Yes, most definitely. Danke schön. Bitte schön. Bitte schön. And that's where we're going to have to leave it from the sports desk. It's back to Tim McGill.